before anybody even got a chance to uh, get a bell rung or anything else. And now the two of them on uh, Mike Starbuck and uh, the big man in red trying to get back in the ring. Wait a minute, what happened here? Wait a minute, Ronnie Garvin just hit the ring. Ronnie Garvin just hit the ring and brother is he flying at the Road Warriors. Ronnie Garvin single-handedly pounding away at these Road Warriors, giving it all he's got. And he's handy with those Dukes as well. Garvin, a stinging right hand. Garvin ducks away, another stinging right hand. Garvin closes in. And so Garvin has indeed taken the place of Big Red. Road Warrior has him up. Full breath above his head. As Garvin slips away from that. Tied for a pinning combination, and he's got the Hawk and the Animal upset. And Garvin fighting fire with fire. And he's showing him the way to go. He misses, and it's Garvin connecting. Garvin really moving on these road warriors. And again, they miss, and Garvin connects again. Garvin, a beautiful counterpuncher. I'll tell you, you look at Garvin in there, if there's any question about what he might be able to do, it should all be dispelled now, looking at him in that ring. There's a question. Mr. Roberts doesn't want to wrestle uh, uh, Garvin for that TV title. Ellering's got it up to 35, uh, crazy, $35,000, tell him to sell his house. Well, the way we see Garvin right now, I don't blame Ellering for putting a high price tag on it. He probably made it too low, because if Garvin can get up with that money, Garvin just might get that belt if he looks like he's missing right now. And he'd make that money back in a hurry. He sure would as a national television champion. $35,000 would come to him pretty quick. Hey, Road Warriors now have Starbuck in the ring, and they catch him with the back of the elbow. And uh, now the Road Warriors are beginning to dominate the situation once again. Here's the only problem. Before, when Starbuck was around, Garvin tried to get him out. Now, Garvin is calling for him and trying to get him back over to tag. Starbuck has got to tag. He's got to let Garvin come back in there. Garvin's got to carry the weight. All right, Starbuck is needed to give uh, Garvin that much-needed rest to get that second win going. But he needs now, and I think the Road Warriors are aware of it. They're doing everything they can to keep Starbuck from getting over the top. Starbuck, Meltzer went to the wrong corner. The wrong corner now makes the tag. Ronnie Garvin back into the ring, and Garvin again. A stinging right hand, another one, and then a, a boot to the midsection. Right in, uh -uh, across the head. Starbuck knew what he had to do. Garvin was calling him. Garvin said tag out. Starbuck was confused. And I don't know how he did it, but he looked up and he saw he's in the wrong spot and turned around and he was lucky enough to make that tag. All right, Ronnie Garvin now, the full arm drag and twist. And the Hawk, the Hawk reverses that and Garvin could be in trouble here. Ducks to one side and very quickly makes the tag. And that gives Starbuck a little added chance here. Meanwhile, Garvin gets a chance to get his breath back. The animal moves in now against Mike Starbuck. And again, Garvin watching and uh, obviously at this point in time hoping that... The... Uh -uh, the Road Warriors have Starbuck in trouble here. He needs very desperately to tag up with Ronnie Garvin. Tag is made. And wait a second, Garvin charges in. He doesn't like the double teaming. Starbuck, the legal man in. Hawk brings him up, presses him over his head. Full slam once again. And Starbuck having a lot of trouble getting up. Don't forget when this match is over, we're going to be seeing Walt McDaniel and Rick. That may have uh, all but broken his neck. It's all over. It is all over. And so.